Translation O descendant of Bharata, at that time Krishna, smiling, in the midst of both armies, spoke the following words to the grief stricken Arjuna. So, Rishi Kesha Prahasan Iva. Krishna began to laugh, smiling. What a nonsense it is. First of all, he said, Put me, Senaya Rubayan Vaddi, Rata Sapaya Mai Ochita. Krishna just put my chariot between the two <coughs> parties of soldiers. And now you are so enthusiastic in the beginning that put my chariot between the two armies. Now this rascal is saying, no Josa, I will not fight. Just see the rascal now. <laughs> so in Arjun, Krishna's direct friend, Maya is so strong that he also becomes a rascal. Mm-hmm. And what to speak of others? First of all, very enthusiasm. Huh? Yes, put my chariot between the two armies. And now, now just say, it is going. I am not going to pass. This is rascal. So we are smiling. Ah, that he is my friend, direct friend, and such a big, and he is now saying that I am not fine. So Krishna smiling, this smiling is very significant. Parhasan, tamubhāca-rishī kesa parhasan iva bhārata, sinaya rubha visidantam, lament. First of all he came with great enthusiasm to fight. Now he is lamenting. And oh, Krishna is mentioned here, Rishi Kesha. Oh, he is solid. Oh, he is Achyuta. He is solid. Oh, he is not chained. Oh. Another significant of this was Rishi Kesha, because in Narada, Pancharatra. The bhakti means Rishikesha Sevanam. Therefore, uh, this very name is mentioned here, Rishikesha. Rishikesha Sevanam. Bhakti Rucha. Bhakti means to serve Rishikesha, the master of the senses. And the master of senses, some rascals, are describing that Krishna is immoral. He is master of senses and he is immoral. Just see how, how he has studied Bhagavad Gita. He, Krishna is perfect brahmachari. Krishna is perfect brahmachari. Well, it was declared by Bhishma Dev. Bhishma Dev is the first great brahmachari in the universe. Uh, he promised uh, to Sattvati's father, you know the story, Sattvati's father, his, uh, Bhishma Dev's father uh, was attracted by a fisher woman, fisher girl. Uh, 
So he wanted to marry. And the father of the girl denied, no, I cannot give my daughter to you. No. Why? I am king. I am asking your daughter. No, you have got a son. Bhishma then was the son of his first wife, Mother Ganges. Mother Ganges was wife of Santanu Maharaj and Bhishma then was the only remaining son. The contract was between Santanu Maharaj and Ganges, Mother Ganges, that I can marry you if you allow me the all the children born, I shall throw in the water of India. And if you do not allow me, then immediately I shall leave your company. So Chantani Maharaj said, all right, still I shall marry you. So she was throwing all the children in the Ganges. So this Bhishma then, so after all father, so he became very much sorry that what is this, what kind of wife have God? She is simply throwing all the children in the water. So at the time of Bhishma then, Santana Maharaj said, no, I cannot allow you. I cannot allow you. Then uh, Mahadev Ganji said, then I am going, yes, you can go. I don't want it. I want this son. So he was wifeless. Again he wanted to marry the Satyavati. So the father said, no, I cannot give my daughter to you because you have got a son, grown-up son. He will be king. So I cannot give my daughter to you to become your maid servant. Her, if I would have uh, thought that her son would be the king, then I can offer you my daughter. So he said, no, that is not possible. But Bhishma Dev understood that my uh, father is attracted with this girl, so he approached uh, that he said to the fisher man that you can offer your daughter to my father, but uh, you are thinking that I shall become king, so your daughter's son will be king. On this condition you can offer your daughter. Uh, so he replied, no, I cannot. Uh, why? Now, you may not be king, but uh, your son may be king. Let's see this material calculation. Uh, that at that time he said, you know, uh, I shall not marry. That's all. I promise. I shall not marry. So he remained brahmacari. Therefore his name is Bhishma. Bhishma means uh, very solid, firmly fixed. So he was a brahmacari. Uh, for the sake, for the satisfaction of his father's senses, he remained brahmacari. Uh. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.